Hello, this is Chris Hammond with ChrisStock.com. Welcome back to our DNN 9 video series. This is the eighth video in that series. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how you can create a page within DNN 9. So we'll talk about how you can access the persona bar pages option. From there, we'll create a single page and then go into all of the various settings that we can configure when we're creating or editing a page. And then at the end, we'll talk about page hierarchy. Now in the next video in our series, you'll find out how you can add a module to a page in DNN 9. Let's go ahead and switch over to our DNN 9 installation here where I have a local development environment running. So this is my DNN 9 website and I'm currently logged in with an admin or a host or a super user account. So you're gonna need to have the permissions in order to access the persona bar and the page management tools myself logged in as that host or that super user account have access to the persona bar here on the left side of the page. Now we're gonna go to that first option in the persona bar, which is the content option. And the very first one there is the pages configuration. So the pages area allows us to see a list of the pages within our DNN 9 website. Now the pages that we see here listed on the left are the default pages that come with our DNN 9 installation. We have our home page, which is this blank page that we were just viewing. Then we have an activity feed page. This page actually has three children, which is that little three we see next to it. If we click on activity feed, we'll see those three child pages listed. After that, we have a search results page and a 404 error page. Now all of these options besides home, when we mouse over them, we see there are a couple of different menu options available to us, but in particular, there's this little flag. The flag, if you mouse over it, will tell you that this page is hidden in the menu. But if we mouse over the home option, we don't have that flag. This shows us the pages that are part of our website but are not shown in the main navigation of the website. So currently, we have one page on this site, home, that's visible in that main navigation. Now we're gonna go ahead and use the add page option up in the top right corner of this persona bar flyout. And that's gonna take us to the interface that we can use to create our first page. Now from here, there are a number of different configuration options available to us. The very first thing that we can configure on the page is the page type. Now most pages in DNN are just going to be standard pages. These are pages that you're going to create and that you're gonna place content via the use of modules. Now we're gonna create a standard page here in just a moment, but before we do that, let's talk about the other types that are available to us. We have a type called existing. If we click on that, this allows us to add an item to our site or a menu item in our navigation that points to an existing page on our site. We'll cover that in future details or future videos. For now, we only have one page. We don't need to add a second link to that page. Now we can also add a URL into the navigation of our site. So if we choose that option, we then have this external URL option, which will allow us to put a link into the navigation of our site that points to an outside URL. Maybe we wanna to point to a different website. Maybe we wanna to point to a news source. We can put that into our navigation. Now the last page type option is the file type. Now this allows us to link directly to a file within our website and have that show up in the main navigation of our site. Let's go ahead and switch back over here to the standard page functionality because that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a standard page here that we can place content on in future videos. So we're gonna go ahead and give our page a name. Now, the name of the page is going to show up within the menu system. So whatever we put in here for the name will show up in that menu. Now, I'll point out another quick tip about DNN here. Some of the fields here on the page have a little information icon next to them. If you move your mouse over that icon, you'll see a little bit of a pop-up there that displays some additional details about those fields. So for our first page, we're gonna go ahead and create a page here called products. So I'm gonna give it a name of products. Now once we've given the page a name, we can also choose to give it a title. Now the title will be utilized in the tab title, in the HTML title on the page. So you might have a page listed as products on the website, but we wanna have a title called Acme Products on that particular site. 
so that when the search engines are indexing the pages on our site, they see that this page has a more specific title. After that, we have the ability to provide a description and keywords. Now, if we put in a description here, we can put in an H or a text-based description that will be inserted into the HTML source code of the page into the meta description tag. I'll just go ahead and type up a sample here. Same thing goes for the keywords. Here we can put in keywords, comma separated. that will be utilized within the meta keywords tag in the HTML source of a page. Now, one thing I forgot to mention about the title, if you do not provide a title to a page when you create that page, DNN will actually use a combination of the website name and the page name to build out an HTML title for that page. So let's go ahead and scroll down here. If we go down to the next area, we have a tags option here. We can add tags to our pages. Those can be used with the indexing in the search engine built into DNN. The next option after that is the URL. So when we create a page, we can choose what the URL of that page is going to look like. By default, what DNN is doing is it's taking the name of the page and putting that into the URL. Now, from there, we have an option here to display the page in the menu or not. So when we're creating a page for content on our site, we can determine should that page be linked within the main navigation. If it is not linked within the main navigation, you would typically link to it in some other form. Maybe it's a page that you're creating that you want as a landing page, as a welcome from an email. So you might send out an email that sends people specifically to that landing page. In that case, you might not want the page visible in the menu. So you would select the off option here in display in menu. Now the enable scheduling option here allows us to configure a start date and an end date for our page. If we want the page to show up in the menu starting on March 2nd, we could put that date in. If we want that page to go away after St. Patrick's Day, we could put an end date in of March 18th. After that, we have a template option. The template option allows us to choose a default template or a, a template that can be applied to this particular page. And we'll talk further about page templates in additional videos, but this allows you to have predefined content and predefined modules when you create a page. Typically, you're just going to use the default option. Now, before we go ahead and click on the add page option at the bottom, if we scroll back up here, we have a permissions tab across the top. And we're going to go into far more details on permissions in DNN in future videos. But when you're creating a page, you want to be able to control who can access that page. Now, typically when I'm creating a page for the first time, I will actually create the page without assigning any additional permissions to it. Now, why might I do that? I might want to do that so that we can have a page that we can, vi we can view as an administrator or a host, a host account, but regular visitors on our site cannot actually see. We can configure the content, get everything ready, and then once we want to make that page visible to the world, we can come back into the permissions tab and we can go to the all users row into that view tab column and click the checkbox there. This will allow us to set the permissions so that all visitors of our site can see the page. Without checking that box, only administrators of the site are going to be able to see the page. And we can also control who can edit the page in that edit tab column. After the permissions tab, we have an advanced tab. Now the advanced tab allows us to control the appearance of a page. What skin or what theme are we going to apply to the page? We can also control which layout as part of that theme we're going to utilize. Be sure to pay attention to our future videos as we talk more about themes and skins and layouts and containers. Uh, in relation to pages in DNN. After the first three options there, page theme, layout, and container, we do have a page style sheet option. Here you can actually link to another style sheet to embed that CSS into the page. We have a preview theme, layout, and container option here, which will allow us to kind of preview the options that we've selected above. And let's go ahead and check out the final couple of options here. We have an advanced SEO tab. 
on the SEO tab, we can go into the page header tags and add HTML content into the header tag in the HTML source of the page. We can set the sitemap priority. Now, pay attention to future videos we put in our series as we talk about the sitemaps within DNN. And then finally, we have a more option here. The more option allows us to control whether or not this page should be secure, meaning should it utilize SSL? And should it allow indexing? Should we allow DNN to index the content of this page with its search indexer? We could turn that on or off. And finally, we have a cache settings option, which allows us to choose an output cache provider, which allows us to define within DNN as this page is built and, and stored in the computer or in the server, should it be stored as a file, a file-based caching? Should it be stored in output or database output caching or memory caching. Typically, I would probably choose the memory caching provider, uh, but in this video, we're just gonna leave it as none for now. And we wanna go ahead and, and get our page created. So out of the box, when we go to create our first page here, we can do so by filling in all the fields we just filled in and then go ahead and click on the add page option. Now, as soon as you choose the add a page option, we're gonna get an interface here that now allows us to choose where this page should go in the hierarchy of our DNN9 website. So we can drag and drop that. If we would like, we can drag that to be after the home page. We can make it after any of the other pages on the, on the menu. We can also make it a child of a particular page by mousing over that page, waiting for the flyout on the right to appear, and then placing the page into that flyout. For now, we're gonna make products a top level page after the home page. And once we wait for the site to refresh here, we should see this new products page is now visible in the menu. And we can see the page has been created now, DNN actually puts us automatically into edit mode, and in edit mode, we can start to see the layout of this page. And we'll talk more about layouts in our next video when we start talking about placing modules into pages here in DNN 9. Now, before we do that, let's go ahead and do one thing. We're gonna log out of our website, and you'll see as soon as I log out of the website, the products page is no longer visible in the navigation of our site. That's because I'm not authenticated. I no longer have permission to view that page. If I try to access that page by typing in the URL, just because I know the URL, DNN senses that I'm not logged in and prompts me to log into the website. This is Chris with ChrisDoc.com. We hope you found this page creation video for DNN 9 very useful and I look forward to helping you out in future videos.